messed up the mic, so one second. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Okay, Got awesome. It. All right. Do you have everything you need? Yeah. All righty. Well, thank you for having us today. We're really excited to be here and, and share with you about University Christian Fellowship. It's a campus organization that works with uh, college students across the country and, and globally also. Um, and so uh, Lacey's on staff at University and she'll be working, or has been working with students at uh, North Central Technical College in Wausau and also with some students uh, that are part of the uh, UW Stevens Point at Wausau campus. Uh, so yeah, we're here today and we're excited to, to share all about that. Um, <clears throat> just for the record, I'm still getting used to wearing these glasses in public. They, uh, are for light sensitivity, not a fashion statement. If I was going for the Elton John look, I would have gotten a cooler suit coat. So. <laughs> now we got that out of the way. <laughs> we, uh, we're actually going to start by, by sharing a little bit about our background with InterVarsity. Um, and just to be clear, Inter uh, Lacey's the one on staff. Um, I'm teaching for the Athens School District. Uh, but we both have a, a pretty significant background with InterVarsity. We're both really involved in college, and um, we have different stories as we, we got plugged in with InterVarsity. So uh, I'll start with, with, on my end, I went to UW-Stevens Point and was taking my faith pretty seriously uh, before going to college and ended up meeting students that were part of InterVarsity right away, before school even started. It was welcome week, and met some, some college students that were really pumped about their faith, and also pumped about sharing the gospel with other students on campus. And I remember seeing that right away, and, and just being filled with relief, and, and filled with excitement to, to be a part of a community like that. Because going to a, a public school before starting us, really not sure what was going to happen, to be totally honest, and um, felt some nerves and, and just a sense of uncertainty and uh, felt like God really used university as a way to, to provide me a community on campus. And in, in a lot of ways, I think I really saw uh, some of the students that were already there, I, I felt like I saw them live out their lives in in such a humbling and, and encouraging way, and, and just really being obedient to the gospel and, and to what we see in the New Testament. Um, and I felt like I saw that lived out by them in a way I hadn't seen before, and was just deeply encouraged by that. Um, so, yeah, not to get too deeply into it, there's, there were four years there of, of me growing really deeply in my faith, and um, just being deeply encouraged by the friendships I developed and um, just how God used that time and, and my connections with university students and staff to, to grow, to, to want to know him more and, and share the gospel with students. There's a couple ways that it looks like um, from my perspective on campus is I took a much deeper dive into Bible study with students, so we'll talk about this later, but university teaches what we call an inductive study. And so you, we just print out the passage, and then I think university does an awesome job of teaching how to, to just take time to read the passage and deeply ask the question, what is God intending us to get out of the scripture? And I, I felt like that was such a meaningful thing for me and the other students to, to learn well and, and learn how to do that on our own. And so I've got memories of doing a first Peter study till 4 a.m. with students on a Friday night and, and just all this stuff that I never thought I'd do. Uh, and it, it really taught me to, to love the scriptures more and, and be able to, to understand what God is trying to teach us through them. So uh, just endless stories of, of how I've been encouraged 
through this organization and the people in it. Um, <clears throat> Lacey's story is, is also really cool um, and particularly exciting. <laughs> so we, we have a very different introduction to InterVarsity. She was, was not walking with the Lord. Oops. <laughs> um, before college. I can, I, you're going to get some waterworks, it's just how my life goes and it is what it is, but <laughs> um, a student, uh, Lexi Lima, I guess you told me not to use her name, I just did. Um, <laughs> She's awesome. <laughs> yeah, a really good friend of ours now, um, was part of InterVarsity and, and was trained by InterVarsity staff to share the gospel, um, got to know Lacey and was really intentional about sharing the gospel. Um, and so. It's part of why we're so excited to, to do this. Because um, it obviously is, is life-changing. and um, That's why Lacey is, is now walking with the Lord. And <laughs> it's pretty cool God. stuff. So, yeah, praise God for sure. And there you go. So, <clears throat> when we're feeling uh, any sense of fatigue ever, we, we can definitely turn back to that and, and feel really pumped. To, to do what we do and um, help other college students experience the same thing. Yeah. Oof. All right. <clears throat> Three things we love about InterVarsity. We've kind of touched on them a little bit. Is inductive study, which really just does an awesome job of teaching students to ask the question, what is God's intention behind these scriptures? And we, we love that because it is so easy to cherry pick verses and maybe misunderstand things, and we've all been there. Uh, and we just love how it teaches students to, to study God's Word so well. Um, we love that university puts emphasis on student leadership and discipleship. Uh, and so it's, it's largely a student-led group. So Lacey's role on campus is to equip student leaders and one, teach them how to study the Bible well, and then two, help them recognize what an opportunity they have on campus to go share the gospel with other students. Um, and then also to be discipling each other and um, building each other up in their walk with the Lord. Um, so student leadership and discipleship are, are really exciting parts. Um, and are part of what makes InterVarsity a little unique among other campus ministries. They all do a lot of the same things. We found that InterVarsity puts a little bit more emphasis on, on student leadership, um, typically, not always. Um, yeah, and we also love the fact that when you, when you throw college students into the fire and, and put them in situations that can be un uncomfortable, that's also such an op awesome opportunity for growth. Uh, I think sometimes a lot of us need that to to want <laughs> to learn to trust in the Lord more. We need some discomfort in our lives. Um, the third thing we really love is is university sees a college campus as a very strategic mission field. There aren't many other places where you have you know thousands of of college students in one spot spending a lot of time. It's a time of life when, when people are typically pretty interested in, in spreading their wings and um, coming up with, coming up with, but, but figuring out how they view life. Um, and so there's so many cool opportunities to, to have cool discussions and, and build really unique relationships over a span of two to four years. Um, when you're stuck on the same, same campus, you can't really get away from each other. So. Um. <clears throat> yeah. Yes. <clears throat> Take it away. Oh, well, and actually, sorry, I'm realizing that I think, yeah, oops, so you didn't get to see two slides, but that's okay. <laughs> so I'll just go leave it on this one for now. Um, but I just wanted to emphasize to uh, the impact, oh, I'm kind of bummed too, because a photo I was going to show you is one, um, it was essentially uh, our Wisconsin Northeast area, it was a student conference, um, 
which was actually held in Wausau that year. Uh, and both Curtis and I happened to be in that photo, and it was years before we met. <laughs> uh, but it was in our time in college, and obviously it had a big impact on us. Um, and of course, uh, thanks to God establishing InterVarsity communities all over the nation, uh, InterVarsity has served over a million alumni who are now out there all over the world, uh, better equipped to advance God's kingdom wherever they are, like in their career and uh, in their local church, which is something we're also very excited about because campus ministry is not forever. Um, and so we want to make sure that these students are going back and able to better serve within their churches. Um, <clears throat> um, and yeah, we were going to tell you a little bit too. Do you want me to actually just share a little bit about why Wasa? Sure. Okay, sounds good. Here we go. So, uh, one way we really felt that God was leading us to um, just serve in the Wasa community um, as we were just praying and discerning where He would have us after getting married um, was that we found out there wasn't a current campus uh, ministry staff or yeah, campus staff uh, in Wausau and uh, the smaller schools uh, like NTC uh, and UW Stevens Point Wausau, uh, they're kind of underserved oftentimes by campus ministry because they're so small and students are around for only one to two years. And so it's really hard to build momentum, um, excuse me, <laughs> um, especially among uh, the, the students. Um, and so having a dedicated staff member can really help them um, keep the momentum going from year to year. And so, yeah, ultimately God just grew in us a desire to serve these students. Um, and so that's where we're at right now. Um, and I wanted to share with you uh, two quick student stories, and then we'll have time for, for questions. So if you have questions that have already come up, already think of those ahead of time. But uh, here's two students that are at North Central Technical College. Um, the student on the right is Hannah, um, and Hannah, I had the blessing to meet with her almost weekly um, for the last year, and I had just learned earlier this week just how much of an impact that InterVarsity had on her, on her life in the last year, and I got her permission to share this with you. Uh, she took a few gap years right out of high school to save money before going to college, uh, and it turns out Hannah became really lonely in this season. Um, and it's actually pretty common for a lot of college students and taking classes um, and just being around just a very different environment um, to feel that loneliness. Um, and I think loneliness is at an all-time high, especially since uh, COVID. Um, and so from my experience, uh, loneliness has the potential uh, to bring students down either a long and heart-wrenching path or it has the potential to direct them to their need of their savior, Jesus. And so um, Hannah just shared with us, uh, she was <laughs> in tears, you know, telling us how God had used InterVarsity, uh, the community that she gained at NTC to remind her of the hope that is hers in Christ. Um, and so that was really cool to see um, to happen for her. So praise be to God for that. <laughs> um, and then Reese is on the left there. Um, Reese came to college with, with a heart uh, that was really growing in love for the lost. Um, and so we were able to connect with her at the beginning of the year. And since then, uh, she's been trained to lead, up, lead uh, Bible studies on campus. And she has been a really influential leader in our community. Uh, she even had an opportunity to go to this huge university conference at the end of this last year. It's called Urbana. This is actually where the the photo was taken. Um, and she walked away really being impacted by the time in prayer uh, that she had and that uh, she just kind of recognized and, and realized how important it was to rely on God's work uh, to change human hearts uh, from hearts of stone to hearts of flesh. And uh, essentially, she was really excited um, to pursue faithfully what God may intend for her in, in being a part of his work to save people. Um, and so uh, 
She walked away from that conference committed to prayer, and she also felt that God was inviting her to start a Bible study in her dorm. Uh, there's only one dorm at NTC. I have a dream to see a, a Bible study on every floor of that dorm. Um, and I've been really excited to support Reese as she longs for students in her dorm to know Jesus. Um, they've been meeting on Sunday night, so uh, they're meeting tonight, so I'd love it if you'd be praying for her today. Uh, and they're studying through the book of Romans. Um, and so. Uh, please pray for, for Reese and, and the students she's meeting with, um, and um, also as we prepare to relaunch that Bible study next fall. Um, and so, yeah. Um, yeah, those are some student stories. Uh, again, we're really grateful for you having us, um, and we'd love to hear any questions that you may have for us about the ministry, about what's happening specifically, um, you know, just an hour that way. So, yeah, we'll take any questions you have. Yes. Is there a men's dorm too? Um, so they don't share rooms. It's not uh, co in that way. And I don't 100% know what the structure is, but I know that girls are with, it's, it's almost like apartments is, is the way that dorm is in particular. Yeah. They have like a little apartment room and yeah. So. Yeah. I do think that the dorms are mixed, but it, it's more mm-hmm. of a feel. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and there's like community spaces that they can meet in as well. So, yeah, yeah. Good question. Yeah. Yeah. What about opposition to the gospel message? Yeah, so it, it's probably different on each campus. Uh, so, just from my own personal experience at, at these two campuses in Wausau. Um, people have been generally open, um, especially uh, the campus often really values what, um, what the students want to do. And so when you already have students that are Christians that want to see Bible studies happen, they're really, they're like, okay, go for it. Um, and so praise be to God, he's really opened up that door there. Um, we haven't, I mean, pray for us though, that we wouldn't experience opposition. Um, and so, yeah, at least in this area, um, We've been doing okay so far. <laughs> Thank you and for asking. We, there typically is some campus support from schools just to have different organizations. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's actually a, there's a number of, of faculty at NTC um, that are believers and, and Lacey met with a group of them and, mm-hmm. um, and so is, is able to build a relationship with them too. So there's a, there's a lot of positive things with yeah. faculty and, and students that are pretty willing yeah, and actually, uh, just university so big, we're of course focusing on the students, but part of our, our vision is to see faculty also reached with the gospel, um, and uh, it has been really cool. I'm like, Lord, this was all you. The fact that I ran into 10 Christian faculty since just wandering around at, at NTC, it's been incredible, and so like Curtis said, I've been trying to gather some of them to give them an opportunity to meet one another and to pray with one another, pray for the students, pray for each other, and, and even down the road, I hope maybe we even see new faculty come to faith in Christ as well. Yeah, and, and definitely nationally, there's university chapters have run into some pushback and things, but in both of our experiences, she went to Oshkosh and um, at Stevens Point, and then in her time on staff at the university, We've, we've really had minimal mm-hmm. uh, pushback, uh, which is good. <laughs> Praise God for that. Yeah. So. At the same time, of course, we want to disciple students well yep. to know how to respond well in yep. those situations, and they know they, like, we are there to support them. Um, yep. And so helping them be prepared for what might come uh, as well is, is part of my job. Right. So. Good question. Um, I know most about the NTC campus, and there's like not necessarily anything um, like super specific, if that makes sense. Uh, I actually don't know if there is clubs. Like I haven't looked into that specifically, um, but certainly we we do know that the more we get <laughs> students' eyes on scripture, like 
we get to see life transformation coming from that. And so that's kind of where our area of expertise is. So sorry, I wish I had a better answer. Yeah, but, the, yeah. yeah it's a good question. The, yeah. the clubs, it, it's kind of different uh, for a tech school mm. than uh, your four year university. Um, so you, the clubs sometimes meet a little less frequently. InterVarsity is actually unique. Uh, I, as far as we know, it's it's the only club that we know that meets weekly. A lot mm -hmm. of them don't meet as often, so it's, you just get kind of a different feel. Yeah. With with some of the organizations on campus. Which also means that university right now at NTC is offering something that, um, yeah, that is unique to that uh, a community. Um, that is unique to that campus yeah. right now, which is really cool. Like, yeah. there's been people just really open because they see we're like uh, next week we're actually going to be handing out care packages to students, and we're hoping to meet students from from just doing that and helping them feel cared for during finals week. And so um, I think that that's kind of attractive. And even part of my story is like I just <laughs> saw that they were serving ice cream, and so I went in and I just met someone that I'm like, I want to be your friend. And that's how God got the ball rolling for me as far as like that life transformation for me. And so sometimes that's what it takes is food. Um, and then you meet students and they, there's friendships that develop and just out of a genuine care for them, um, we, like I said, get to see life transformation. And, and of course, putting the emphasis on, hey, this is who Christ is and this is all he's done. And yeah, yeah he loves you. So. Yeah, it's a neat opportunity to, to develop kind of a unique community on, on that campus mm -hmm. um, where there's a lot of students in and out and a lot of students there during the day, um, but not as many clubs and official communities as, as you would find at a, a four-year university. And, and so I, I think there could be some really cool things happening as, as things continue to grow and um, students continue to make connections with other students and um, I think it's a, an exciting thing. So how many years have you been doing this and because there is a draw um, from individuals that they would like to go to a Christian college but they can't afford to do that. Mm -hmm. Uh, a draw which direction? To, to, um, to a public to school. To attend because there's... To attend a public school? No. Yeah. Or, well, or a private yeah. school? <laughs> specifically, specifically in Wausau. Yeah. Oh. Your experience, what, what you've been seeing, do you feel that there's an increase in enrollment because you are there and oh. there's a Christian setting there that they, they can connect? Okay. That's a good question. Yeah, or were you gonna <laughs> respond to this? I, I would say that there's probably no way for us to know. At least not uh, yet. And, and yeah. there's yeah, especially now we're we're still getting established in a lot of a lot of ways. So, mm -hmm. um, as far as we know, there's probably no one thinking, oh, there's university <laughs> going to NTC now. But um, we would love that. We'd be yeah, about that'd about be it. awesome. Um, yeah. Well, and especially as we meet more and more churches in the area, mm -hmm. like we're hoping we'll get connected with uh, high school seniors that are thinking about taking classes there yeah. um, and get connected with them early on and, and help them feel really welcome on campus, but also pursue Christ while they're on campus. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, and to clarify, too, I have been on staff since 2019. Uh, I worked at UW Oshkosh, um, and we met Well, <laughs> I was already doing that, so I worked there for about three years before, in this last year, at, in Wausau, so. <coughs> yeah. Is there a financial issue where you, you need financial support, mm -hmm. or just to Campus Crusade, or I'm sorry, university, mm -hmm. or is, you know, if, what is the financial mm -hmm. aspect, because it's obviously not cost free. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and of course, InterVarsity is a nonprofit, so it, it functions, you know, pure, based purely upon the generosity uh, of people. And so, uh, yeah, that's part of what my job is right now, too, is like, I, I, I love that I actually get the unique experience because um, I do raise my own budget. Um, 
support raise for that. Like I then am actually personally connected with all of my supporters, which is really cool. Um, and so right now the need, because yes, you're right, um, I'm about 55% funded um, for full time, because I was working part time before um, we moved to Wausau. Um, and so I'm raising a, an additional 20,000 in ongoing support right now. So yeah, and I'd love if you'd be praying for that and praying about if the Lord may be leading you to support as well. So yeah, and thank you for having us to consider support as a church. Yeah. What does the typical week look like for you? I'm sure it changes here and there in this season. But what does the typical week look like? Yeah. Yeah. So like I said, right now I'm in a unique season where a lot of my time is towards that support raising, so I can give more of my time to students. Um, and so as far as the student aspect goes, uh, right now uh, at NTC we've been meeting weekly on Tuesdays, and so um, I'll of course be present at those meetings, and um, often what's happening is students are leading those meetings, so I meet with those students ahead of time um, to help them prepare for that meeting, pray with them for that meeting. Um, there's also a leadership meeting that happens every other week um, as well. Um, and so a lot of like one-on-one -on -one discipleship uh, opportunities or even group discipleship opportunities. Um, well, I'll have a couple students with me just meeting on campus to talking, talking about what we're gonna be doing as a community and yeah, and especially caring for their spiritual needs and, and encouraging them to, um, yeah, training them with new resources is actually a big part of it too. And oftentimes, anytime I'm training them on a resource, I'm prepping for that ahead of time, right? And so my time also goes towards that, like preparing um, for that. And then there's other other areas my time goes to, like because I have the blessing of being a part of a, a pretty large organization. Um, and in our region in particular, I'm actually um, serving to help promote evangelism within our region. And so I'm actually, well, I'm actually co-leading that team um, that meets. Um, and so there, there's other opportunities that I pursue for all for the sake of um, just growth and yeah. So does that answer your question yeah. of, this? wait, and I might've misunderstood. Were you curious more about my time or the time at NTC or the student? Or? Yeah, that's where I was going. Okay, perfect. There, yeah. There's more miscellaneous stuff. That's, yeah. That is a little harder to answer. Um, like we'll, we'll have students over mm -hmm. um, fairly regularly for, for like game days on Sunday. We would just hang out with a bunch of university students and invite some others also. And um, she spends a lot of time getting to know um, people in different churches in the area. And, and for example, last week uh, we went over to someone else's house and had dinner and spent time with the university leadership team packing those um, what are those care called? packages the that care we're packages out next week. Yeah. That were full of caffeine like the <laughs> students needed any more of it, but <laughs> and water. <laughs> um, and water, yeah. So whatever. it's not about what's in the care package. Right. Okay? Yeah. And, yeah. Um, so it's a lot of miscellaneous stuff like that. That's mm -hmm. really different from week to week. Yeah. Well, and, and that was actually one way that those people chose to partner with us. Like, they actually volunteered their home uh, for students to come and enjoy a home-cooked meal. And um, that was really cool to see because, uh, uh, of course, um, I wanted to create those, that space for the student leaders uh, to be able to reflect on what God has been doing in this last year. And when they were just sharing over the meal, like, I, it was so encouraging, I'm sure, for the students, for me, but then also our partners, like, that they got to see, oh, wow, like, this is... This is the impact. That's where I got to hear Hannah's story of just how God met her in the midst of a lonely season. So, yeah. 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 And, and then one more thing. Yeah. Um, things change, too, as, as we get to know more students. Mm -hmm. um, the, what the club looks like can change. For example, our experiences with InterVarsity, we had small group Bible studies. Several times a week. Several <laughs> times a week. Well, leadership meetings. Well, you choose one to go to, but. Uh, and then there's a large group every week. And so once you get enough students involved, the structure can change a little bit. Um, and we're just right now in the, the phase of connecting with more students on campus. Yeah. So it's a little different. It's not hard to fill my time <laughs> so um, with really impactful stuff. And so that is why I am devoting that time to, to increase my hours with students. So, yeah. 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 
are most of the students that you see involved with the university living on campus? You said there was mm. an apartment building for <coughs> my, my son-in-law mm -hmm. commuted mm -hmm. to Stevens mm -hmm. Point for his classes. Yep. Um, so, you know. We'll get both. That's what I was wondering, is it primarily yeah. on campus? Mm. Yeah, um, yeah, we definitely have a mix of the students. We have two students in the dorm. Um, we have at least two students that actually only have online classes, and yet they still come to campus to be with us because they just find it so valuable for them, um, and especially just interacting with people their age. And um, yeah, and, and obviously the opportunities for growth as we study the word and stuff like that. But um, And then we also have probably like 10 more students that uh, do commute to campus um, pretty regularly, like at least three days a week. Yeah. Good question. Yeah. So you mentioned NTC. How about the UW Stevens Point Wausau campus? Mm. Are you there? Are they kind of together? What? Yeah, so that's a really unique situation right now. Um, it's kind of a longer story, so if you want, I can talk to you more about it afterward. <laughs> Um, I'd say like where a lot of my attention has gone with the UWSP campus, it, it's just in the much earlier stages and actually there's a lot less students in, like walking around that campus. I'm even trying to figure out what times of days are there students actually on campus. Um, I'm like I have committed to just praying on campus um, uh, almost weekly and so like I'm just trying different times of the day, and uh, I'll be handing out care packages there as well um, to, in hopes to meet students and stuff like that. So, and we, we do kind of have one thing going on, um, but yeah, like I said, I can kind of talk to you more about that if you'd like to know more. So, it's in the earlier stages, though. Yeah, it, it is a really unique atmosphere at UWSP Wausau. I'm still figuring it out. NTC, I actually understand a little bit better than on that campus, but I'm willing to learn and, and I'm excited to see what opportunities God opens up. So, yeah. Any other questions? Yeah? You had just mentioned earlier about um, the Marshall campus too, that you were trying to maybe do something with that. Can you mm -hmm. look, I don't know, any more of that? Yeah, yeah, because Marshfield <laughs> is closer to you guys. Um, and so, uh, turns out there's actually a Christian faculty there um, that wanted to relaunch university uh, at that campus. Uh, I think Marshfield campus is really cool because their history is that they used to be the largest club on campus for years. Um, and then, like COVID kind of, we lost a lot of students from that. Um, just difficult transition and stuff. But, um, but with that faculty relaunching, they have been meeting weekly, uh, which is awesome. And I've, I've kind of just been like offering my services to that uh, volunteer who's essentially relaunching um, the university there. And so I, I went and helped her table at the beginning of the year. I will this year again as well. And I also hope to like connect her with more resources and um, even people who want to come alongside her and, and help even in small ways. Um, so yeah, thanks for, for bringing that up. <laughs> yeah. But part of what's valuable for um, the students in university is connecting with people in, in churches in mm -hmm. the area. Um, something I ended up doing is is really following the example of university students that were a little older than me is, is building really deep relationships with people in different stages of life than me in my church um, while I was in college. Uh, and so university chapters are always looking to to build mm -hmm. relationships with churches in the area. And, yeah. um, and so if you would have interest in maybe helping with a small group or, or discipling a student or something like that, mm -hmm. um, that, that's something that's usually really, really valuable. I've also heard of a, a staff coming up with the Brownie Bunch, where they email a bunch of people who are willing to provide baked goods for students. And so there's like random opportunities like that to, to serve students, even from kind of a, a distance. So. Not to keep bringing up food, but it really, <laughs> it really you know, helps. You want to meet a lot of people quickly on a college campus. That's how you do it. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks again for having us. We're really excited to be here.
Yeah, and if you have any more questions, we'd, we'd love to keep talking mm -hmm. about it. And, and mm -hmm. uh oh. Yep. <laughs> She's got something. And um, uh, we uh, brought some connection cards. If you'd like to partner with us in any way or if you want to learn more, um, we'd be happy to connect with you. So if you'd like one of these, uh, take one. You can fill it out. Otherwise, just pass it on. And uh, if you could put it in the basket that's in the table back there, that'd be great. So start handing those out. Yeah, it's that orange table back there. You can't pick it. We would have chosen blue, but life goes on. Um, and thank you again. We're really grateful to be here.